So today I'm going to teach you about the solar system and if we all have a little look, you can see it already playing out for us. So it's like we're watching it in action. I can go back and show us some different planets. Can we zoom in on some other planets? Okay. You want to see Mars? Okay, let's see Mars. There we go. So this is Mars. What do we notice about circling around Mars? Ooh, look at that. They're its own moons, yeah? So when you've got something, a, a smaller rock, if you like, orbiting, which means moving around a the planet, then that is called a moon. The skeleton has four uses. Can you tell me what they might be while we have a skeleton? Yes. Brilliant. Okay, you said, you said one of the reasons, movement, excellent at the back. To keep us stable, what would happen if we didn't have a skeleton? There would be a blob of mushroom on the floor. What we've got here, guys, this is our standard skeleton. I'm just going to talk to you about the different parts um, and what their function is. Now, we're down to our pelvis. Now, our pelvis is, is where? If I just show you, the actual pelvis is this big dish, this big plate that's fused around here, and you can feel the top of it just in, in, in your ear here. So as we come around the sacrum, look at the sacrum, which is a bit of the back. How they're protected to. We've got our brain and our skull, and we've got our rib cage and our heart. We're now looking at the um, other bits and bobs. So first of all, we have our arm. Now, okay, the best thing that I can t tell you about the arm and about the, um, the use of the arm is um, if we could feel it ourselves. So, now what you've got here, if you hold your wrists out, you hold your wrists out, and as we look at it here, what you'll find is if I can rotate it in the right way. Brilliant, right, okay. That's what I want to see. So, if, if I'm looking at it here and I'm standing exactly as we are here, what you can see is you've got your radius and your ulna. What these are, are the two bones that go fork across your body here to give your arm stability and shape. Okay, this long arm, this long bone here that comes across from your shoulder down to your elbow is called the humerus. It's one of the bigger box figures. I found it very exciting because like, um, the way it comes like right in front of your face, it helped me understand more about the solar system and more clearer, and more clear about the skeleton you can see it up close. It just looks better, easy for you to figure out than, than 2D. I've like seen the planets move around, like the common up diameters and all that stuff. Like, it give you a real visual in your head. Just being able to see the solar system in a whole different perspective, because you get a better understanding of how, like, what planets move and like, the way that they move. Seeing it in 3D, obviously, get more intriguing. 3D helps in the classroom because it engages students straight away. The kids were first of all amazed by what they saw in terms of it actually physically coming out to them, um, almost to the point where they could reach and grab it. I think with the class that I taught it really helped with their understanding and whenever I'm trying to explain new concepts and ideas to them they need to have some kind of a visual and usually it ends up with me drawing sort of little pictures on the whiteboard which aren't that great um, or picking up props and trying to move it around so having that solar system spinning around and being able to zoom in on different things meant that they could piece the whole thing together straight away. Pupils' um, engagement was, was, was really good. Um, we found that they were um, constantly looking um, for different parts within the pictures and the images and because as they were rotating they were trying to see from different angles and perspectives. Um, it was really nice to also include um, actually them feeling their arm as well as seeing it so they can see what's going on and be actually part of the lesson and part of what's happening in front of them. More and more we're fighting against kids being more interactive with other technology outside of school. So I'd like to bring it in school so that it's easier to engage. Being at the cutting edge of technology um, and them obviously knowing what 3 d is about and having gone to the cinema to actually now access that in a lesson um, is the next level. It's almost part of everyday life. The other benefits of using 3D in the classroom is the students are quiet and focused and they're, they're not there's not really any low-level behaviour issues because they're so interested in what's going on. I think it would benefit all departments around the school. Um, I think any subject can make it work for them. Subjects like PE, um, even when you go as far as maths and looking at dimensions and the way the buildings are designed in art, um, it can be used cross-curricular and it's a tool that can be used in every subject.